Good morning everyone. Today I would like to discuss about the topic of Laplace transform. Okay. That is a Laplace transform. Before of this definition, we discuss about the integral transforms. We discuss about the integral transforms. Actually, where we can use this Laplace transforms means in earlier classes we discussed first order higher order differential equations by solving of the complementary and particular integrals. And in that arbitrary constants are involved, those constants elimination by using of the initial conditions. But here by using of integrals, we can easy to solve the differential formula problems and get the solution. Okay. Here Laplace transform means the variable can be changed from one to another by using of the integration. Okay. In this case, the improper integral must be defined on a function. That function is a convergent function. Then only we can use this integral transformation. Okay. That is the integral transforms. In the integral transforms, we defined from minus infinity to infinity in that we can take the function in the positive values only. The function can be defined for all positive values and the integral from 0 to infinity. Defined from positive values means we can take the improper integral from 0 to infinity then that will be convert into the Laplace transforms with the another variable okay so that first we discuss about the improper integrals sorry it is the integral transforms integral transforms can be defined in the improper integrals okay and in an integral improper integral of the form integral minus infinity to infinity k of s comma t f of t dt k of s comma t f of t dt. It is an improper integral that is defined from minus infinity to infinity and it must be a convergent. It must be a convergent. Convergent is nothing but the integral limit value must be 1. Okay. In that case only the transform will be exist. Here minus infinity to infinity k of s comma t f of t dt is nothing but in this k of s comma t means that is a function of two variables s and t. Here this k of s comma t can be called as the kernel of transform. That is a kernel of a function. Okay. Here in this this Integral transform is denoted by f bar of s that is equal to minus infinity to infinity k of s comma t f of t dt. This is the integral transform. It is equation 1. This is the integral transform. The integral transform can be defined for the improper integrals. It must be a convergent. Then that integral is denoted by the f bar of s. In this k of s comma t is called as the kernel of the transform or kernel of the function s and t variables. Here this f of t is transferred to s function. Let it be denoted by f bar of s. It is the integral transform. Now we discuss about the Laplace transform. Laplace transform means here the function must be taking as that f of t must be taking as for all positive values only. That is defined the function t is defined for all positive values only. Okay. All positive values means the function k of s comma t is the set of e power minus st f of t for f of t, t is greater than or equal to 0. The remaining is 0 
for t is less than 0. These values substitute in the equation 1, then the Laplace transform is f bar of s is equal to integral 0 to infinity k of s comma t that is equal to e power minus st f of t dt. This is called as the Laplace transform. Again, the Laplace transform from the integral transform only convert into the Laplace transform in that the integral transform the function can be defined of minus infinity to infinity. That is nothing but the function can be defined for all values. In that we can take only for all positive values the function is defined. In that kernel of function st is taking as e power minus st for t is greater than or equal to 0. For all t less than 0 the function will be 0. This function is substituted in the integral transform then the function f bar of s is equal to 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt it is said to be the Laplace transform okay in this the Laplace transform is denoted by f bar of s the function is convert into the s variable from t to s variable okay here f of t is equal to, it is denoted by the L of f of t. Laplace transform of the function f of t is equal to, f bar of s is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt that is equal to L of f of t. Okay. Here f of t is the inverse Laplace of transform f bar of s that is the function f of t is the inverse Laplace transform of the function f bar of s this is the definition in this some formulas properties are there that properties are we discussed in the next class okay thank you